Inspiration comes in many forms. For one indigenous singer and songwriter, the love of family. In particular, his grandfather, who was a residential school survivor. In tonight's Indigenous Circle, CTV's Donna Sound explores a soulful journey, bridging past and present. I've been home, down these empty ocean. A powerful voice that hits all the right notes. So let me hold you, hold you like you're the old you. Asanabe is a journalist turned musician. He's also self-taught. There was a guitar, I just started writing songs and I started singing and I remember, yeah, I remember being so nervous that I, I wouldn't even sing in front of everybody. He's OG Cree from the Sandy Lake First Nation, a remote fly-in community in northwestern Ontario. Another hit single, Nomads, reached number one on alternative radio. This is my debut record and, and for it to kind of get all the accolades and stuff is, is wild. His new EP, Here and Now, delves into Indigenous love and loss, exploring the impact of colonization on Indigenous love in this country, saying this country never made him feel worthy of love and in turn never made him feel worthy of the love of another. Growing up around that, that and that normalization of, of just treating Indigenous people less than, you know, it does something to you. Songs guided by his grandfather who influences much of his music. A residential school survivor, Asanabe, listened to and recorded his stories. Sharing that burden and sharing these stories kind of made us closer than we've ever ever been. And it's just amazing to me because he's always been like the strength in the family and the rock in the family. His debut album, Watton, was nominated for a Juno. Asanabe honored his grandfather at his Juno Awards performance, nominated in the category Contemporary Indigenous Group or Artist of the Year. Asanabe will be hitting the road on a cross Canada tour with a stop in Nashville. Donna Sound, CTV News. Toronto.